Hansen. I'm with third grade teacher here at West End. I teach reading, writing, and social studies, and I'm so excited on this beautiful Valentine's Day to be able to share a great skill with you that you can practice with your students at home. The reading skill I'm going to share with you today is making inferences or inferring. This is a great skill that can be used by students in every single grade level, and it's also our ELA Word of the Week here at West End. I know you've been seeing all the posting we've done about that on Dojo and on Facebook. And the Word of the Week, the way this works for our students in our classrooms, we have some amazing people who are coming around every day asking our students what the Word of the Week is, when they might use the Word of the Week. There's an ELA and a math Word of the Week, and infer happens to be the ELA Word of the Week this week. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to explain to you what an inference is and how you can kind of guide your children through making these inferences when you're practicing this skill at home. So for us, we're going to go through some pictures. I'm going to demonstrate inferences for you today. So when you're making an inference, what you're doing, I explain it to my students as you're taking what you're reading, you're taking what you already know about that situation, and then you're putting those two pieces together to kind of draw a new conclusion or to make an inference. For example, when I look at this picture, what I'm seeing from the picture or what I'm taking in from the text I see a puddle, I see rain boots, I see someone holding an umbrella. Then I'm gonna take what I know about those things. Well, I don't wear rain boots when it's hot outside, and I don't wear rain boots when I'm going to the mall, but I do wear rain boots when it's raining outside, and I always take an umbrella with me when it rains too. So even though there's nothing telling me word for word that this is happening, I can infer that it must have recently rained. And the character in this picture wanted to go play in the rain. So they put on their rain boots and they took their umbrella with them. So even though it doesn't directly come right out and say, oh, well, there was a rainstorm today, I took what I saw from the picture, I took what I knew about that situation, and I put those pieces together to make that inference. Here's another set of photographs you can make an inference about. I see people wearing these black gowns, throwing hats, they look happy, it's a sunny day, and I'm going to take what I already know about this situation. Well, normally people wear outfits like this when they're graduating from maybe high school or college, and they're throwing their hats and they're smiling. So when you smile, I know that you must be happy. So I'm going to go ahead and infer that the people in this photograph are celebrating a graduation. And here's another one. All right, we have, I can see someone in the kitchen. He's wearing a chef's outfit, but I'm looking at his face. And when I see a facial expression like that, he doesn't look very pleased. So even there's, there's no words telling me that his soup tastes bad, I can infer that he's not pleased with what he baked or made on the stove for himself today. So remember, when you're making an inference, you're taking information from the text. And then you're going to use that with what you already know about that situation to make an inference. This is such an important skill and it can be used with students as young as four all the way up through our fifth graders. As you read text, things are happening in the story and you're applying that to things you already know to come to new conclusions. You can make inferences about the setting of the story. You can make inferences about your characters and your actions. Today with a group of students, we were inferring things the author was doing. So there's some fantastic reading conversations you can have with your students based around inferences. So try that tonight while you guys are reading. Have them read a section and ask them, what can you infer based on what the character said? Maybe ask them about the character's personality or even why the character might have done what they did. I hope this is a useful skill for you guys, and I know we're all 